this mall on a normal inauguration is filled with people. It's a picnic, it's a party. You know, tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands in some cases show up. But what we're gonna see, the capital of the United States locked down with National Guard, with police, with security everywhere where people can't come in and celebrate. And then the shock that this country went through more than a week ago in the United States Capitol, and the sadness, and then the shame. What are you most worried about on the day? Well, uh, for our country and the world to see a nation in chaos, former secretaries of defense, including yourself, signed on to an op-ed before last Wednesday occurred, right? Mm -hmm. Basically saying the military is not going to be on Donald Trump's side if he tries to cling to power. We wanted to send a message to remind our senior military and all of our military, their obligation is to the Constitution. That's the oath of office we all take, elected officials, military, not to a commander in chief, not to a president, not to a party. If you have got to refuse an illegal order from your commander in chief, we'll support you on that. You know, yesterday, historic day in America, Donald Trump impeached for the second time. Does it surprise you that only 10 House Republicans ended up voting to impeach? I'm not surprised. I mean, I think uh, these people have been so cowed by Trump and his supporters that they're scared. The Republican Party used to stand for some principles. There's no Republican Party, there's a Trump Party. There's a sense right now that people have, you know, that the country might be coming apart at the seams. Everywhere you look, up to and including last week, you see signs of severe stress on the bonds that hold the country together. And there is still, as we started our conversation, talking about what might happen over these coming days. You know, there's just now a lot of intense scrutiny on these right-wing, violent, extremist groups. Do you share that concern that Trump might in some way incite that in the same way as he did last week? So, I mean, that's still a reality and that's still possible. And here's the danger. He started something that he can't control. Yes. He's put in motion something he now can't stop. And that's all these nuts out there doing what they're doing. And I think you're going to continue to see that. And I, I do think there are going to be some problems here in Washington. But at least we're preparing for it. We're shutting down Washington. We're shutting down capitals around the country. When it's over, what happens? These groups are still out there. And it, it's not about Trump anymore. It's about emboldened, far-right, violent extremists who saw what happened last week not as a, as a failure, but as a success. And as a challenge to, to do more.